You see, Yorick, love is a bit like smoking a pipe. If the fire dies, you can always try to light it back up again, but the taste is never the same. Greetings, art enthusiasts, thrill seekers, and those with a taste for the scandalous. Today we embark on a journey through the shadowy alleys of art history, a journey into the top 10 scandalous art pieces. Buckle up, for where there's art, there's often a scandal waiting. Picture Paris in the 19th century, a time of corsets and conservatism. Enter Manet's Olympia, a bold reclining nude that sent shockwaves through the salons. Manet, with his déjeuner sur l'herbe, was no stranger to controversy, but Olympia's direct gaze challenged societal norms, especially because a lot of details in the picture identified her as a prostitute, provoking scandalized whispers and heated debate on morality and artistic freedom. Immoral and vulgar were some of the chosen words by the critics. Also, the fact that this fille de joie had a black servant only some 15 years after the abolition of slavery sparked accusations of racism toward Manet. If scandalous art was a sport, Manet would therefore be an Olympian. Paris again. And this time Courbet ignites scandal with L'Origine du Monde, a close-up view of a woman vulva and abdomen. Commissioned by uh, an Ottoman diplomat, collector of erotic art, the explicit depiction of female genitalia was locked away for decades. The scandal? <laughs> Courbet dared to showcase what was usually veiled, challenging the prudish sensibilities of the 19th century elite. Is that it? No. In 1995, 130 years after the painting was finished and after a few changes of ownership, the canvas became property of the French state and took its final place in the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. A deluge of protest, calling it pornographic, slammed the respectable museum. And due to a legal battle, Facebook changed its policies in 2018 to allow nudity depiction in works of art just because of that painting. Courbet probably didn't know this painting would continue to stir scandal after so many years, but that's what happened when you show the naked truth. Early 20th century Paris, the dawn of Cubism, and Picasso unveils Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. And we are not talking about young girls from Avignon, the city in southern France, but about five prostitutes from a brothel on the Carrère d'Avignon, a street in Barcelona. Critics were scandalized by the distorted and angular forms breaking away from traditional notions of beauty. 
also the mix of styles. The left lady looks Egyptian uh, inspired. The center ones follow the Iberian school, while the two at the right seem to be wearing African masks. Upset, even other artists and close friends of the painter. Picasso, the Enfant Terrible, faced harsh criticism, but his masterpiece heralded a seismic shift in artistic expression as it started the Cubism movement. Having said that, it took almost 15 years for the painting to be recognized as something else than the horrible scribble it was first thought to be. Fast forward to New York in 1970, and Duchamp drops a conceptual bomb with fountain. His submission for the exhibition of the Society of Independent Artists was a ready-made sculpture, a simple porcelain urinal signed Armut, that challenged the very definition of art. First, thought more as a joke or an act of defiance by the artist, the sculpture was accepted by the society but never exhibited. Critics were scandalized, but Duchamp's act of rebellion questioned whether art was solely about craftsmanship. A few other artists tried to urinate inside the famed sculpture to add their own twist, but it looked like their contributions went down the drain. The Rockefeller Center, 1930s New York, a celebration of humanity's progress, commissioned a huge three parts mural from Diego Rivera, comparing elements of capitalism and communism. The fresco was first approved by the Rockefeller, but critics saw bits of communist propaganda in there. And, they were very vocal about it. So to get revenge, Rivera added a portrait of Lenin and a depiction of a Soviet parade in the fresco. The Rockefellers, who were not informed of the changes, were scandalized. The mural is then dismantled and Rivera's vision becomes a battleground of politics and art during the tumultuous time. Rivera was himself at the crossroad, the crossroad of politics and art. Mid-20th century, post-war existential angst, and Bacon unveils his unsettling study after Velasquez's portrait of Pope Innocent X. The scandal lies not just in its visceral portrayal of religious figures, but in Bacon's audacity to reinterpret the classic, a masterpiece that left the art world scandalized and intrigued. Bacon, being a very vocal atheist and having a long series of Pope's paintings in the same kind of dark and unsettling mood, some people saw there a fierce critic of religion, or even, for the more Freudian, a way to kill his father who abused him as a child. Whatever dark thoughts he put in his paintings, psychiatrists agreed that Bacon could be cured. Bacon. The 1930s in America, a time of societal norm, and O'Keefe introduces Jimson Wee, commissioned for the skincare magnate Elizabeth Arden. The intimate, almost erotic portrayal of flowers sparks controversy. Critics were 
scandalized where O'Keeffe see your form challenging the boundaries of representation in art. She's best known for her larger-than-life studies of flowers, looking almost like macrophotography. But everyone since the early 20s wants to see something erotic about them, while O'Keeffe herself has denied any sexual nature to her work for 60 years. Still, some people want to see what is not there, even today. People assuming sexual intent <clears throat> where there is not is forever in full bloom season. Vienna, the early 20th century, and Schiller paints portrait of Wally. The scandal extends beyond the provocative news to legal battle. One of the main issues was that Schiller met Wally when she was just 16 and they very fast decided to live together. This union attracted the attention of the police. Well, that and the complaints from the people of the town. And Schiller was imprisoned for distribution of pornography at the Reed. Seized by the Nazis during World War II, from Leah von Jarre, a Jewish learner, the artwork becomes the center of a decades-long legal tussle over its rightful ownership. Enter the 90s, where Kuhn's Made in Heaven series blurs the lines between art and pornography. Featuring explicit poses with his then wife, La Cicciolina, a famous 90s adult movie star from Italy, Kunz scandalizes traditionalists and challenges notions of high and low art, igniting debates on taste and decency. Kunz is not a stranger to controversies and has been accused along the years of plagiarism, indecency, and generally shocking. His rabbit sculpture fetched $91.1 million in an auction, which is a record for a living artist. Our scandalous journey concludes with Banksy's Girl with a Balloon. In a shocking turn of events, the artwork self-destructs moments after being sold at an auction. Banksy orchestrates the scandal, turning the act of destruction into an artistic statement that resonates in the age of the spectacle. And there you have it, my daring companions. We've traversed the scandalous realms of art history, where each straw of scandal has left an indelible mark on the canvas of time. From Manet's defiant gaze to Banksy's self-destructive spectacle, these scandals not only shocked, but shaped the very narrative of art. As we close this chapter, let us not forget that every scandalous masterpiece was a rebellious brushstroke against the norms of its time. They sparked debate, challenged conventions, and in some cases ignited revolutions. The scandal, much like art itself, is a dynamic force, a disruptive dance that propels us forward into the uncharted territories of creativity. So, my intrepid art explorers, keep pushing boundaries, questioning norms, and reveling in the scandalous tales of the art world. Until our next escapade into the realms of mystery, controversy, and, of course, 
scandal. May your brushes be bold, your color vivid, and your journey through art forever thrilling.